Christina, family and friends of Matthew Graves say he had a smile that just lit up a room. Tonight, Matthew Graves' closest family and friends gathered in front of the Eagle Point Carl's Jr. to remember him. The group lit candles and shared stories right outside of where Graves was shot one year ago today. They took your life, but no one can ever take your life. Right down the hill from the Carl's Jr. where he died. This group stands together to remember Matthew Graves, an uncle, a friend who was missed. Oh, it's a little easier to take. Um, it's, I mean, but my heart's still broken. It's, it's hard to talk about it and, and not cry. Um, and just really still seeking some kind of justice. They say Graves was taken from them too soon. Well, it's pretty sad looking back at the place that he was last, yeah. but it's also good to let go a little bit. 840. Lighting candles at 840, the exact time Graves was shot one year ago. Family and friends say Graves was a good person, but he struggled with schizophrenia. He lived his life loving other people. Eagle Point police say Graves wasn't complying with an officer and ended up in a physical struggle. A second officer showed up and during the fight saw what he thought was a gun. It was in fact a taser. Graves was shot twice in the back. Thank you for all, you, all of the memories you left behind, all the lessons teached. Despite the way Matthew died and the hurt the group still carries with them, they're also trying to use the lessons Matthew taught them to light up the darkness. I, I definitely want people to know that I'm not against police officers. I just want, you know, justice, what's right. Five of seven grand jurors said the officer who fired the fatal shots acted lawfully, but Graves' family and friends still say they believe police used excessive force. His family is currently in litigation with Eagle Point. Live in studio, Devin Gooden, NBC5 News.